everyone, welcome back. I'm David Mustard and this week I'm back in Paddington. Yes, we're in central London at the same building as a couple of weeks ago when I showed you a 1.3 million pound two bedroom flat with a view of the canal. Very nice place. And I've just noticed that you can see me in the mirror right over here. So get a second angle today. Today we have something a bit extra. I'm showing you a four million pound apartment with four bedrooms and four bathrooms and also not one, but four balconies as well on the 11th floor of this building that's called number three canal sidewalk. And it is literally just on the canal. It is listed with Grange London and if you have any questions, just send an email over to Mess Calendar and he will help you out. Here's a floor plan of the whole place and it's just under 2,000 square feet, so it is a very big place. This place is within walking distance from Hyde Park and Regent's Park and you can rent a picnic boat down here and go all the way to Regent's Park on the canal actually. There's also a lot of restaurants and shopping in the area, plus you're super close to Oxford Street, Mayfair, Soho for all your entertainment and shopping needs. Let me take you through the apartment. When we first step into the apartment, there's wardrobes on both sides in this hallway where you can keep your shoes and jackets from going out. And then we step straight into the living room. There's plenty of space to set up whatever constellation of sofas and chairs that you need. You could have a corner one, just like this one, or two opposite each other. And if you sit down here towards the large floor to ceiling windows here, which is a feature you can see throughout the apartment. Here you will see the sunset every night since the apartment is facing southwest so the sunset should be right over there. And you can also open up this whole window here and step out onto one of your many balconies. I believe this one is the largest one though. From out here you have far reaching views of Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens and the rest of London. And right next to the living room, if we turn right, we go straight into the open plan kitchen dining area. I like that they've placed a half wall between your living room and dining area so that it's open, but you still have some separation. Very good design. The whole apartment also benefits from underfloor heating throughout and you have not one, but two underground parking spaces. Very unique here in London. The kitchen is all in light neutral colors and has fully integrated Siemens appliances with two ovens and an induction stove, which I definitely prefer instead of a gas stove. We also have a wine fridge here in the front of the kitchen with easy access from the dining table. So when you finish the bottle, you can just lean over to grab another one. The kitchen also features a boiling water tap and there's plenty of storage here for all your appliances and dishes. I like that the kitchen opens up to the dining area but it's still kind of tucked away into the walls here. The dining area has the same amazing view as a living room and another balcony if you want to step straight out for some fresh air after your dinner and I've heard that the views here look amazing at night. This whole open layout is definitely somewhere you can have a larger group of guests over for a party or a big dinner. By the way, if you want to see more house tours on this channel, you should definitely subscribe and leave a little like and we will soon have more videos for you. And let us know what kind of places you want us to show. We do already have a bunch of home tours on this channel. We'll leave links below so you can check those out as well. Okay, now let's move into the bedrooms. At the far end of the apartment, it's a bit of a walk since it's such a big place. Past the dining area, here we find the master bedroom with its very own private balcony with the same view as the other ones. Directly to your right when you step in, you have a walk-in closet with a full-length mirror at the end and a lot of space for your suits, dresses, shoes, bags, whatever you need. This also has sliding doors, which is always a luxurious feature if you ask me. And this way you can close them if you want to dress quietly whilst your partner is sleeping, for example. And on the left here we then have the ensuite bathroom with great fixtures and a shower. Right before you get to the master bedroom actually, you have another slightly smaller bedroom just on your left. This could be easily used as an office like they've done here for example. And this room also has a bathroom across the hallway as well, depending if, if you want to use it as a bedroom or as an office. From here we move down to the opposite side of the apartment. This is where you put your teenagers for example. 
Here, there's the last two bedrooms, one straight ahead with its own walk-in closet, full-length mirror, and a floor-to-ceiling window in the closet to let in lots of light when you're getting dressed. This bedroom also features the last out of the four balconies in this apartment. And there's also an ensuite bathroom here, and just outside on your right, there you find the last bedroom. And also, you can change this into an office or a gym or whatever you really need, actually. And this one also has a walk-in closet and an ensuite bathroom as well. So for you who saw the video from last time I was here, you know what's coming next. You have access to a roof terrace lounge on the top floor where you can sit and relax or do some work. In the evenings you can have a movie night here or watch some football when the World Cup is coming around next year. There's also a dining table up here if you want to invite some friends. And we then can step straight out onto the huge roof terrace with views over the whole of London. And out here you also find three seating areas where you can sit with a cup of coffee in the morning or a glass of wine in the evening. On the other side of the roof terrace you also have access to an outdoor gym if you need a morning workout after your coffee. This place also has a reception desk and a concierge service so they can receive packages and stuff for you when you're not at home. Anyway, now I think that's it for this tour. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms and four balconies for four million pounds in Paddington, listed with Grange London. Check out the link below. Now let me know what your favorite part of the apartment is down in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We have a lot more house tours booked in for you to see, so let me know what you want to watch. Luxury apartments, holiday rentals, something else, let me know. And don't forget to leave a little like on the video, that's always very helpful. Thanks for hanging out today and see you soon, bye bye.